All right, guys. So here is an install video for the 8-inch dovetail extension that I offer on the site. This is an 8-inch flat surface extension before the dovetail slopes. And the purpose of it is to give you some more flat surface space before the actual dovetail slope. Um, I've built enough of these for people uh, at the 8-inch mark um, to know that this seems to be uh, the, the size that everybody's interested in. I, I'm sure it has something to do with, you know, having an 8-foot bed and being able to put two mowers on. Um, but uh, I can't go really much farther than 8 inches as far as a flat extension is concerned. The 24-inch dovetail option that I offer, if you if you buy this with the 24-inch dovetail option, it's going to have to come with some extra supports uh, that connect to the truck because the, the only connection point for my ramp is the hitch. Uh, so, you know, the longer that uh, that span is, the, the more possibility there is for flex and, and for weakness. So... Uh, on the 24 inch I'll, I'll be uh, needing to add some extra supports but it'll it'll come with it if you order it on the site uh, so the first thing you do is obviously is you have to remove your ramp um, and you'll have to un you know uh, we'll remove your hitch mount too and then you'll put these dovetail sides on you remove the bolts the front bolts the parts that are the bolts that are closest to the truck on the dovetail ends there you just take those front bolts out and pop this uh, dovetail end on and then put the bolt back in at the bottom. And then there's another bolt at the top that goes through a slotted L bracket through the expanded metal. And you just put some flat washers on those and it, and it grabs down. You'll see it a little bit closer on this side here. Uh, at the top there, you'll see that uh, L bracket. And then you also notice that there are tabs and angles uh, in specific locations that allow for it to be aligned properly. So you don't have to really do too much work to get it where it needs to be. Uh, there are slots in just about every part of this just so that you have some adjustment room because there's no way for me to know exactly where the expanded metal falls on every ramp so I just needed to make some some slots and, and they're actually a little bit oversized even but uh, there's no uh, structural value really to to the dovetail ends themselves for the ramp it really it just serves as a as an enclosure and you know to actually hold the ramp up during transport that's where you put the, the latch pin so um, so you know there's not a whole lot of need for uh, a bunch of support but either way there's uh, there's a bolt at the top here and a bolt at the bottom and then when you install the actual flat section itself that connection um, or though that piece connects to the new extension pieces that you just installed here uh, and that's four bolts now on this particular one, I just tacked on those those tabs that would that would rest on your truck bed. Uh, but this one's not getting those, so once I once I did the video on this, I took them off. Uh, and those tabs will not be on an angle; they'll be flat, obviously, because this section of the ramp is designed to be flat. Um, and there'll be four bolts. You'll need to just kind of put them on and get the nuts started, but don't crank them down just so you can line everything up before you tighten everything down. And it, on this particular part, if the ramp's off your truck, you can kind of flip it over and let it sit on the tops, uh, top rail of the dovetail ends, and, and uh, it'll be a lot easier to install this part here. Uh, I'm doing it this way just for demonstration purposes. Like I said, the fact that it's even installed on a table is not really a, uh, a good way to show it to you. But I, I don't, uh, I don't have an easy way to demonstrate it. So you'll get these uh, these nuts and bolts in, and just like I said, get them get them started at least so it hangs that piece hangs in place, and then. You'll notice when I when I go to put this front bolt in, you can slide it back and forth, and that's like I said because everything is slotted. Uh, and then you know you put your nut and your washer on and get it lined up where it needs to be. Crank everything down, and then you'll just uh, install your new hitch mount. You'll have to use the bolts from your your previous hitch mount uh, for that one. Again, this particular hitch mount is different because it's going to a specific customer who asked for something different on previous ramps. 
So uh, those tabs will come off there, and uh, and you'll you'll probably notice when I turn that hitch mount around that there's no bolt welded on the inside there. So he likes his drilled all the way through for pins. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. The rest of it is just a standard install after you get this piece on. Um, it does make it a little heavier. I think it adds about 50 pounds, maybe a little less than 50 pounds to it. So, you know, you, if you're going to install it complete the way that it is, you, you might need some, some help getting it up there. But that's pretty much that. Any questions, any comments, uh, leave them below. All right, thanks, guys.